when is the best time to give my 23 male, uh, so he's a 23-year-old male, girlfriend, 23 female, a necklace I got her for Valentine's Day? I'm sensitive. When's the best time? Okay. Okay. 6 so p.m. I, so I got my girlfriend a necklace for Valentine's Day, and I'm trying to think of when would be the best time to give it to her. We're going to drink some champagne at her house in the afternoon. <laughs> Probably while she gets ready, <laughs> then we're going to go grab dinner at a nice place, then head back to her house for the night. I was thinking of either giving it to her when we're at the house before <laughs> dinner. I think this is as funny as you do. This would this would let her be able to wear it out to dinner, and if she wanted to, and I thought she could be nice to give it to her, give her with roses. I could also do it at dinner, but I think it would be hard to conceal it, as it is wrapped in a nice box and is kind of big. This would be more romantic, as it would be over candlelit dinner. I could also give it to her. <laughs> third option i could also give it to her after we get back but i'm leaning away from this because then we're probably going to be thinking slash doing something <laughs> more frisky if you know what i mean i just want to pick the best time to give it to her i'm open so okay. i'm not laughing at this guy no i'm laughing at the because so the thing is like as funny as this like Headspace is to read. It's all, it's real. It's a relatable headspace. Yeah, absolutely. Like you, like I, I get, and like twenty three is how old. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm basically that age. So, um, like, it's not like I, I don't think that way about like my relationship with Luana. No, but like I think that way maybe about something sometimes. I, and, yeah. and, and maybe like maybe like when I was first like trying to date girls, I was think this way. Yeah, like this like. Okay, yeah, like what? I, there's like a right way to do this, and I, uh, you know, like you've just like completely overthink. Yeah, this is the tiniest part of the date, <laughs> and it's the only part he decided to post about. I know. And ask advice on. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, like first of all, good for this guy. Good for him if this is his, the, what the the issue that he comes right, to a forum right. with. Yeah. First of all, because your relationship doesn't seem. Second of all, it doesn't matter. First off. Second off, do it, uh, I would, okay, if I were to actually give input on this, I would give it to her at dinner. Yeah. With the box, you can't, you don't need to concede, she, it's Valentine's Day, she knows you're gonna get her a fucking gift, she expects you to get her a fuck, unless you have dis- okay, excuse me. Unless you've discussed that I within think you your need relationship. To that. Yeah, like me and Luana don't get gifts for Valentine's Day. I think because that's Because we totally go reasonable. hard for Christmas and birthdays. There you Our go. Our birthdays are literally right. Before yeah. and after. So, oh, like, yeah, Carly go. says do it before dinner. <laughs> exactly. Do it before dinner. That's what I would say. Do you well. mean, like, before you're eating at dinner or yes. before you get to dinner? Because I think, I think like, while you're waiting for the food to get there is the perfect That's time. That's the perfect time, yes. But yeah. the box is too big. The box of the necklace? Yeah, the That's box is... Said. So here's the thing, is if you bring a box oh. with you, you're now building anticipation for the entire night, which well, is oh. awesome. Right. I think I think it unless oh, he oh, unless he didn't get a good necklace, but like when a when a person sees a gift, I, they get I excited. I disagree with that. You get excited. Okay, that feel, you disagree. Well, no, I, well, to me that that just my gut says like weird power play. I don't, and that's <laughs> to not be like that's trying. for you, and it's there the whole night. No, that's not. At all I know that's not what you're saying, but yeah. that's how I would. That's my gut instinct in that situation. Okay, is like to pre- to show the present. I, okay, so yeah, for I don't think you should like brandish the present. You should be like, I have, you know. It's like, like where you where you like push back your suit jacket to show the handle of your gun. The gun, yeah. Like, Just to imply that you could do something. And not to act. <laughs> that, that's like the vibe I get by like having the gift. <laughs> Sid, my wife and I have done that gift giving at dinner in a fancy restaurant where we were young, and it is the worst. Interesting. Why? Why is it the? I'm very curious. Why I would is it like the worst? to know. Yeah, do what, people? Is it because to me, if people were to chime in. I would hate that. Ooh. Like people for at another. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Carly says in the car before dinner. Oh, that's excellent. A nice private situation to get a gift. That's. I think okay. that would be the move. Why? I wonder. Do you like why? I, I just don't like why is that. I better? can I can say why it's better. Why I would feel better. Um, be, and as I said earlier, like I'm super weird about getting gifts, and it's my I hate getting gifts. I act now that I think about it, I don't like getting gifts in public. It makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. Because you have to, re- you're expected to react a certain way. Even getting a gift in front of a person is weird, but like in public, even more so. I would say. Is it because you think other people are watching you? Um, I mean, yes. I I don't want to say no because I don't think that's a, the right answer. Like they're I, not like I don't think you think like oh my god everyone's, everyone's watching, watching me. me. But is it because like you think there's the possibility of someone like you know so, being entertained by your life? For I guess a this is also well. No, we have this show, so I can't say. <laughs> okay, right, right, right. Um. Uh, this is okay, okay so it's just me. I just oh, I agree. now we're getting now now i'm talking about myself again which is to say that i pr- really prefer to feel and experience emotions entirely in private 
And that's like a different, like, I don't like getting, like, the, I'd much rather do that intimately than do that in a, like, So I guess room. maybe a way, oh, wait, Carly said, because she can open it in private, wear it to dinner if she likes it, and leave it in the car if she doesn't. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, that's like super easy. More well thought, that's a very, yeah. more thought out than I thought about it. That's awesome. I also feel like then you can, oh, I lost it. I literally lost it. <laughs> and then we'll leave you it happens. it happens. It's okay. Ahead, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You'll come back. Uh, I agree. I think that giving it in the car beforehand is perfect. Okay, Unless he's mind. meeting. So here's the other option is what if you're meeting, you're not driving. I guess it's his girlfriend, so he's probably driving her. Right? Yeah. But assuming you're meeting them at the restaurant, mm-hmm. it's now, it, I guess it's less, I think it would be less of a power play to like just have it on the table. And be like, here. No, I yeah. Food. If you were meeting them there, maybe a little bit. But, but yeah, bringing a gift. I I see what you're saying. It's cringy because it's a teenage movie trope. It's pretending to be romantic. To give a person to have like the gift at the dinner table. Okay, maybe that's. I think I th- okay. I I will. I think the expectation of like a certain emotion or a certain moment is cringy more so than the actual action. Right. Yeah. Because you can totally do cliche things in a non cliche way. One hundred percent. But I get what you're saying. Yeah. And I guess like the real answer would be like at like you should know, I guess, the type of girl or person yeah. the type of person that your girlfriend is. And you would know, I'm assuming, if she's the type who would want a gift in public like that or exactly. a gift in private. But by default, I will go with Carly's answer. Give it to her in the car. That's probably a safe bet. That's probably a safe bet. Yep. Thank you to the audience for that one. Yeah. <laughs>